My Interpol friend, it's dangerous for you to be out in the street tonight. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, the killer is still out there. More victims have turned up. All of them Ogs, all harvested. Just like Angela Gunn. So it's the same person doing all this, and we still have no idea who that is. I'm not sure where all this is going, but I've been looking at old case notes, and it's uncanny. Marek Svobodka, the old harvester, is supposed to be dead, yet this killer seems to... Little habits that were never made public. I even called the cemetery just to make sure Svobodka's still dead. He's dead. That doesn't explain what you're doing here. It's still my case, isn't it? And it's still open. I was hoping that maybe Daria suddenly remembered something. What about you? You know very well that your Interpol ID doesn't mean shit tonight. Hell, I should be arresting you right now. Daria called me. She said she was in trouble. She said he was here. And she got cut off. Is she in there? I wouldn't know. I knocked and no one answered. I've been... worried about her. So... she called you, huh? You know how she feels about cops. Right. Look, you're not supposed to be outside tonight. I'll take a look around the building. You, see if you can find a way inside. Hopefully we're not too late. Just try not to get caught, eh? I won't. Granted.
watching. Now back to our top story. State police in Prague, working under direct instructions from the Army of the Czech Republic, have imposed a state of martial law throughout their city. This, after riots in the center of the Smolek complex, Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vidcall number? I looked into facility 451. It was a processing clinic, one of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. And? And I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists, either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. Why are you so sure I didn't get these hogs in Alaska? Orloff was there. I spoke with him. You said he was using an alias, McFadden. I looked into it. Casper McFadden didn't exist until the day you regained consciousness, which was one month before you escaped the facility. Okay, so where was Orlov? Not in Alaska. He was with Tai Young Medical for a while, and in the spring of 2028, his name pops up once or twice in the Baltic region. Then he dropped off the grid, and McFadden shows up. So what does that prove? Orlov is McFadden, and McFadden is Orlov. None of it connects him to me. 
Except for the AUGs which Orloff designed and nobody else knows how to install, let alone make compatible with a competing system. Are you suggesting all my AUGs are new? Even the ones you gave me? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm telling you all the AUGs we ever installed had registry codes, and they're not hard to trace. I know my AUGs, Seraph. It took two years for my body to get used to them, to unlock all their potential. Two years? Really, Adam? One of which you don't remember because you were allegedly in a coma in Alaska. Look, son, all I'm saying is it wouldn't have been hard to identify you, but for some reason, that never happened. What are you trying to tell me, Seraph? <sighs> I'm sorry, Adam. There's not much more I can say. There's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. All I know is, the deeper I dig, the more questions I have. Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it all means. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Seraph.
taking care of this problem alone. Awaiting next to the port. Damn hogs. They sure aren't helping themselves. <laughs> Just running, that's all. Lately, it seems the cops think everything is a crime. We have no business together. What are you doing here? It's after curfew. It's dangerous. Serial killers are dangerous. Curfews are just inconvenient. I... Beg your pardon? Daria Miska. Ring a bell. I... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I I'm not at liberty to divulge anyone's personal information. Asking for your help. Dowry's missing. She's gotten herself mixed up in these harvester killings. I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't see what that has to do with me. Or with you, for that matter. Before going after her, I want to make sure I have all the information I need. I read the email you sent her. You seemed very concerned. Something about a neurosurgery you performed. Why was it so important for her to meet you here? I used to know Daria. She was a patient of mine. Your patient? You mean here at the drugstore? No, of course not. Before that, when I used to work for Tai Young Medical, big tech corporation. Do you know it? Enough to know I don't like where this is going. I headed a project. The cutting edge of neural science and cellular memory replacement. We dealt with people suffering from severe social disorders. We were making people better by making them better people. A company like Tai Young running experiments to make better people. What could possibly go wrong? I'll tell you what went wrong. The incident happened. Your kind lost sympathy with the world, and my kind lost funding for their projects. The whole thing was shut down, and it became very difficult to adequately follow up with patients. Patients like Daria. What happened? What the hell did you do to her? We were trying to help people. Imagine what it would mean if we succeeded. Anxiety, gone. Apathy, gone. Depression, gone. Diversity, gone. Spontaneity, gone. Individuality, gone. But you probably left that part out of your sales pitch. I... 
Daria is responsible for what Daria does. The only reason Tai Young forced me to get involved is because so much is at stake for them. Big brand name to protect. I've met their lawyers, men whose briefcases are filled with broken teeth. You must understand. I'm trying to save Daria. If any part of you cares about what happens to her, now is the time to tell me. What do I need to know to help her? Daria is beyond help. You're wasting your time. That's for me to decide. Now tell me about this procedure. And you can quit stalling because I'm not going anywhere until I get the answers I need. My job was to address people's deficiencies by integrating donor personality packages. That meant we needed lots of confident volunteers to donate time to our project. As you can imagine, people weren't exactly lining up to have a scrape inside their heads. So Tai Young had to diversify. Once again, not sure I like where this is going. Tai Young Medical cut a deal with various penitentiaries. Prisoners who took part in our programs, they got granted little perks, bigger cells, running water. The prisons, they benefited from facility upgrades. It was a win-win. You implanted the personality traits of prisoners into the mentally unstable? Smart. Let me take a wild guess. Daria's donor was Marek Svobodka, better known as the Harvester. Donor number 698843. All I saw, all I was given, was a series of test scores that showed a perfect match. Everything she was missing, he had. Nothing else mattered at the time. An innocent woman's been turned into a vicious killer, in large part because of a procedure you carried out. I'd say that matters. Daria wasn't turned into anything. She willingly participated in a procedure. Now she is willingly killing people. You may choose to see a causal relationship between those two things, but let me assure you, it's more complicated. Save it for the lawyers. What I need to know is how to stop her. All right, look. We obviously want the same thing here. Daria has a neural chip installed just above the hairline. She won't let you get anywhere near it. So if you're serious about putting an end to this, you'll have to... you know... What, kill her? That would be my preference, yes. Or I suppose you could just incapacitate her, but then you run the risk of having her wake up. Not a risk I would take personally. There must be another way. Something that doesn't involve attacking her. I... I, I wish I could help you. Unless you're willing to meet violence with violence, Daria's not a victim. Chip or no chip, she is behind this. And she will try to attack you, no matter what you do. I don't think Daria's as responsible as you make her out to be. Taking her out and removing the chip is great for you. Gets rid of any evidence that might link her actions to your bungled experiment. But there's no way it's my only option. And there's no way Tai Young Medical would develop a sensitive technology like this without some kind of failsafe. I know you're holding something back. Like what? A weakness. An override. Something that allows me to talk to her without the influence of whatever it is you installed. Well... There is an override phrase. Tari has been programmed to react to it with specific subconscious impulses that are designed to trigger a shutdown of the chip. Why wouldn't you tell me that in the first place? Because I knew you would overestimate what it could do. You're a fool if you think you can just walk up to a killer and say a magic word. It won't undo what she's become. The decision to act on Svobodka's memories, to repeat them, that was all Daria. Simply shutting down the chip at this point will not be sufficient. That's for me to decide. What's the override phrase? Ad hominem 2026. But I warn you, do not turn your back on her. And do not underestimate her responsibility in all of this. We all have terrible nightmares. We all have visions of sick and terrible things we could do. 
but we don't all act on them. You must be careful around her.
Musím mluvit se svým právníkem. It won't be long. I don't know where she is. All I know is she called you. Before who comes back? The man who killed Angela Gunn? Yes. He knows you're after him. He wanted you to come. You can drop the act, Daria. I know what's going on here. I know there's no one else out there. I ran into an old friend of yours. The name Cipro mean anything to you? You mean Dr. Cipro? <sighs> Where did you dig him up? He's worried about you. He's worried about himself. He's worried about Tai Young Medical. They're willing to kill to cover things up, to preserve their precious image. Their reasons are savage compared to mine. I don't believe this is who you are. Something changed in you after Cypress surgery. Made you do things you would never have done otherwise. For reasons that aren't your own. But it's not too late. Don't be so naive. I am who I've always been. Cypress surgery, all it did was give me access to another man's technique. His courage to follow through. I can still help you. Ad hominem 2026. Is... is... <clears throat> what did you do? Is... is that how machines pray? Listen to me. The neural chip that Dr. Sipper installed in you is in the process of shutting down. Try to focus. This version of you that's been hurting people. I don't believe that was really you. Then... Then you don't know me very well. Why? Why should this change anything? The procedure gave me access to memory banks that weren't my own. The choice to draw on those memories was mine alone. You... You... You can't take them from me. The shutdown process may take some time. There may be lingering effects. But that doesn't mean it's too late to help you. You really believe that, don't you? All right. Prove it. Approach me. Come. Closer. Save me from all those 
horrible things Dr. Sipra did. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Surely, whatever trace of the... Har Harvester was inside me is gone now that you've said the magic word. You obviously need more help than I can offer. But that doesn't mean it's not out there. Whatever power the neural chip had over you should be diminishing now. You should be able to fight whatever urges Stroboka's memories inspired in you. I... I don't need help. You do. You need to be... Sa sa saved. All Ogs need to be saved. Svobodka inspired me to... to... I can make you human again. I have to make you human again to atone for what I am. This notion you got that augmented people need saving, that there's something less than human. Look, I didn't know her, but I guarantee you Angela Gunn was a human being. Her humanity was defined by her ideas, her passions, the causes she believed in. It had nothing to do with whether or not she was augmented. Svobodka so never saw them as individuals. To him, they were victims of an age that terrified him. Mirror images of the monster he had become. He believed the entire race was under attack, that mechanization would keep our souls from migrating. How does that sound like to you when you say it? Migration of the soul? Victims of an age? I'm not talking abstract concepts here. I'm talking about people. Svobodka never saw his victims as human beings because it would have made it impossible to do what he did. He was sick. He was scared. Whatever he was, he was no savior. You're right. The more he killed, the easier it became. That is why he had to repeat the actions, ritualize them. It was a way of justifying his beliefs. If you kill one man, the memory is like an anvil. If you kill seven, you quickly forget the first. It all starts to seem inevitable. Surely it must be obvious to you by now. The Daria you came here to save no longer exists. She hasn't for a long time. All that remains now is his drive, his legacy, his cause. His cause, not yours. I don't know the extent to which you're responsible for your actions. Whether you chose to be like him or whether it was completely out of your control. But you are different. If you can recognize that, then maybe you can start distinguishing his motives from your own. Let's say that I can feel his presence receding. After all this time, maybe I can finally recover the person I was before she pressed procedure. That doesn't undo what I've done. How can I possibly be allowed to walk out of here? It's not for me to judge you. I want smarter people than me to look into this neural procedure you underwent. Dig into Cipra and Tai Young. So you're offering me a fair trial? I'm not offering anything. But if there's any hope of moving on here, not killing anyone else is a good start. Society has every right to judge you, and it also has a right to hear all about Cipra and Tai Young Medical. I'm not an expert on extenuating circumstances, but I'd say you have an interesting case. You were right before, about the override process taking time. I can feel him receding. Memories of, of memories no longer crashing against me like they did. Let me prove it to you. Come closer. I want at least one person to know that I'm no longer what I was. All right. 
right, Daria. We need to get you out of here for real now. This needs to end. The version of me who did those things to Angela. I... I cannot even imagine it being me, even though I, I know it was. Whatever happens now, whatever the authorities decide, I hope you believe me. What's going on here? What the hell am I interrupting? Detective Montag. Daria's got a story to tell you. How you react may have something to do with your thoughts on experimental neural therapies and big medical conglomerates. I don't understand. Where is the harvester? I, I want to turn myself in. One of you really needs to start explaining. I want to confess to the killings of Angela Gunn, Misha Voracek, Pavel Klima, and Leonie Wolf. I also need to tell you about the neural procedure I underwent. It involves Tai Yong Medical and a man named Dr. Nicholas Sipra. I hope you'll listen. You can handle this from here. Just listen carefully to what she has to say. All right, Daria. I think you should stop at the beginning. Two years ago, I signed up for a program sponsored by Tai Yong Medical. They said they could help people to become better versions of themselves. It all feels so long ago now. Another lifetime. I suggest you remember everything you possibly can about this procedure you underwent. Who was involved, when it happened. I'm, I'm not that person anymore. I swear to you. Take your time. For now, nothing's going to happen until I get the full story. <laughs> 